Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's renew and review and create from the most wonderful space of love, generosity, grace and gratitude and bring that into our energy field with intention as we be that ripple that we want to see in the world. So when you're ready, close your eyes and come into this beautiful space of you. Come home to yourself and feel yourself relaxing and take some nice deep breaths, really breathing in as if you're breathing through your belly button. Breathe in and squeeze and release. And let's do that a few more times, breathing in through your nose, filling your body with the most wonderful vibration, with the most wonderful breath, renewing and refreshing and replenishing each and every cell in your body, calling in that healing light, activating that best place within ourselves. Whatever we choose to do and whoever we choose to be, let's set our intentions around who that is. As we take this next step into the future and onto the path that each and every one of us individually are going to go on. But with that connection of incredible consciousness that connects each and every one of us, that individually we are one drop, but together we are the ocean. Keep taking those wonderful deep breaths in. with that divine purpose in mind, that divine being of that which we are and who we want to be. With each breath that you take, you're going to go deeper and deeper into a relaxation, coming in to this deep, rich, warm home within yourself. Feel the energy vibrating all around your body. Feel that breath carrying the oxygen all around your body, all these cells in your body. Imagine that each and every one of them has this beautiful, great big smile. Every single cell in your body smiling at this time that you are giving to yourself. And we don't need to be rushing to achieve what we want in life. Actually, the opposite can be true. And this, the more we slow down, actually, the faster we can speed up just by slowing down. And so for us to truly act in alignment with that divine purpose, we're gonna go in and replenish all of our creative energies first. Imagining that that energy and that creativity is running all throughout your body. Really coming home to yourself. Bringing that creative energy into each and every cell. Mm. Feeling yourself deeply, deeply relaxed, calm and relaxed. Peaceful and relaxed. Knowing that your inner guiding spirit is going to support you to do this work that you're about to do. And with this beautiful energetic vibration and frequency that's been set for us, how lucky we are and how grateful we are but there's so much generosity in the, the air. Feeling that sense of pure gratitude vibrating all around you now. Take some more deep breaths consciously. Coming into your body. Feeling 
that creativity pouring in as if it's flowing in through the top of your head, this beautiful energy flowing in through this powerful receptor that you have coming in, flowing in through your body, filling your body with the most powerful light. And you as this being of light filled with the most incredible energy, activating that which is within you. That element of yourself that you maybe don't visit as often as you would like to. And really come home to yourself now. And feel yourself as this light pours in through the top of your head. I want you to imagine that you have this staircase almost as if you've got this little staircase at the back of your mind and we're going to take a little journey down that staircase really coming home to yourself we're going to work our way down that staircase going further and further within until we get to your root chakra at the base of your spine. So we're going to start at the top of your head. And imagine that you can see a doorway in front of you. And this is a magical, mystical doorway. Just see this doorway. It's your own special doorway. No one has ever seen this before. It's your own magical doorway. Just notice the detail around this door. It's almost like it's a, a door frame in the middle of nowhere. What can you see around you? What is your doorway made of? And what does it look like? Taking those nice deep breaths. And in a moment, you're going to open that doorway. You're going to turn the knob on the door. And just notice what your doorknob looks like. And feel yourself in your mind's eye reaching out to that doorknob. And turn that doorknob and open the door. And as you open the door, you can see that this beautiful staircase is going to lead you down to this magical place within yourself. This beautiful, magical place that is always there, has always been, since there has been a you, there has been this magical place within yourself. Take like a nice deep breath before we take our first step down the staircase. And just before you take that first step, just notice that within that staircase, you can see these beautiful lights. Beautiful, beautiful lights. Ruby red, bright orange, there's yellow. Green, emerald green, you can see aqua blue, sapphire blue, purple, all these beautiful gemstones. And we're going to head down those stairs, each and every step, just one at a time, counting down from 10 to 1. And we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up through each and every one of those gems that are already within you. And so let's now take our first step, 10, stepping down to nine, eight, feeling that relaxation pouring over you, flowing through you, feeling deeper and deeper relaxed as you step down onto seven, six, five, Feeling even more relaxed now. Four, three, two, and one. 
feeling this beautiful, calm, deep sense of relaxation flowing all throughout your body. And you are now at the deepest place within yourself. You are at the root, your root chakra. And as you look around, you see this beautiful ruby red gemstone. Wow, just see how bright that ruby red gemstone is. I want you to walk towards that red gemstone. It's enormous, this beautiful red gemstone. And as you move towards this red gemstone, I want you to take your hands and place them on this gemstone. And as your hands touch this gemstone, it lights up. It has the most beautiful light. It lights up the whole area around you. And as you touch this gemstone, you feel the confidence and the energy that's flowing out of that gemstone directly into your hands, all the way up your hands, up your arms. You can feel this beautiful red creative energy, this beautiful energy of confidence flowing all up your fingertips, up your arms, flowing up to your head, flowing down your neck, down into your tummy, into your legs and your ankles and down to your feet. And this light of confidence and energy is filling you. This very first step in this activation. Feel that confidence flowing all throughout your body. And just for a moment, as you feel this confidence moving all throughout your body, just call to mind something that you would like to be more confident about. Or if you had more confidence, what would you be doing that you haven't done or that you've stopped yourself from doing? What would you do with this confidence that's now pouring into you? And take a nice deep breath and feel that confidence flowing all throughout your body. See yourself in your mind's eye doing the very thing that you would be doing if you had more confidence. Activate this vision that you have. You might be seeing it, you might feel it, you might sense it, you might have words. Whatever flows to you, just know that it is right because there is only the right way. Everything is perfect, however it comes to you. Mm, breathing in that confidence, I'm seeing this activation right alongside you. And I want you to see that that beautiful ruby red gemstone is now getting smaller and smaller. And the smaller it gets, the more confident you get. And in fact, this gem becomes small enough that you can take it and you can put it in your pocket. So carry that gem with you and feel it just completely bringing that confidence, that inner confidence to you. And know that it is always there, even when you're not thinking about it. I thank this beautiful root of you for always guiding you, for always bringing you this inner confidence, for always bringing you energy even when you don't ask it to. And whether in your mind or out loud, 
I want you to repeat this affirmation after me. I am confident and full of energy. Let's say it one more time. I am confident and full of energy. And let's do one for luck. I am confident and full of energy. Very good. Now with that beautiful red gemstone in your pocket, let's now start to make our way back up this staircase, but we're just going to go one step at a time. And our next step of the journey is to visit our sacral chakra. So I want you to imagine that you're taking that next step up and you're moving towards this beautiful, bright orange gemstone. Now this orange gemstone just as the ruby gemstone is massive. It's a beautiful, beautiful, bright orange gemstone. And this gemstone stands for everything that you want to create in your life. Orange is also a color of prosperity. It also inherits all of the passion of red and the creativity of red. And also the effectiveness of yellow. So all of the passion of red, but without the aggression. So see that beautiful, bright orange gemstone and walk up to it and place your hands on it. And feel the creative energy pouring from that gemstone all throughout your body. Bringing that beautiful orange light into each and every one of your cells. And as you keep your hands on that gemstone, it whispers to you, there is nothing you cannot do. You get to create the life that you want. So take that energy through your hands. And knowing that there's nothing that you cannot do, you are infinite. You get to create the life that you want. So let's take this opportunity to see, feel, or hear. What life is it that you do want? What are you moving towards? Really feel that vision, sense that vision, see that vision. And with this gemstone in your hands, see that vision for what you want to do, what you want to create. The life that you want to live, the purpose. Purpose that you want to stand for and be known for. Take a nice deep breath in, breathe that vision into every fiber of your being, every cell, every atom that makes you, you. Know that there is nothing you cannot create. You are so infinite in the potential that you have. The gifts that you were born with, it's all there. Without you learning anything new, without you doing anything new, your gifts are all there. So now see that orange gemstone as before, getting smaller and smaller so that you can fit this gemstone in the palm of your hand. And with this gemstone in your hand, I want you to repeat after me, either in your mind or out loud. There is nothing I cannot do. I create the life I want. 
I am creating the life I want. And take that nice deep breath in, knowing that from this place of home within yourself, that you are going to create that. And take that beautiful orange gem and place it in your pocket. And we're now going to take that next step up into our solar plexus chakra, just in our upper abdomen. And as you take that step, you're going to see this beautiful, bright yellow gemstone. Oh, it's yellow, just sun, this beautiful yellowy orange, beautiful, warm gemstone. Wow. Gosh, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. Just see, it's almost as if the sun is shining inside of you and you see this beautiful gem. And this gemstone stands for you accomplishing everything that you set out to achieve. So take your hands and place them on that yellow gemstone. And feel that sense of achievement pouring through you into every one of your veins, every one of your cells. Feel that sense of pride in everything that you've achieved so far already and everything that is yet to come. And with your hands placed on this gemstone, see the vision of you achieving what you want to achieve this lifetime. If you were at the end of your life, looking back saying, I did it, I achieved it. What would you want to have been saying to yourself at that moment? See you creating your life, working, loving, living around that purpose, around that which you want to have stood for in your life. And feel that yellow, beautiful yellow sunshine energy giving you confirmation that you will set out to achieve everything that you want to achieve. And now feel that yellow gemstone getting smaller and smaller as before until it fits in the palm of your hand. And we're going to repeat an affirmation after me, either aloud or in your head. I accomplish everything I set out to achieve. I accomplish everything I set out to achieve. I am accomplishing everything I set out to achieve. Brilliant. Well done. Now place that yellow gemstone in your pocket and we're going to take our next step. We're going to step up now into that beautiful heart space within us. This is my favorite place. Maybe it's yours too. <laughs> we're stepping into the heart chakra. And as you step up, you're going to see this most incredible emerald green gemstone. <gasps> Takes your breath away. It's so beautiful. This beautiful, beautiful gemstone and this gemstone as you step up and place your hands onto it you feel ah, this unconditional love pouring into your hands flowing all throughout your body this beautiful heart stone oh. mm, and I'm holding that vision of that beautiful stone with you right now amplifying the amount of love that is flowing to you and through you and for you. And feel that love pouring into you now. 
healing any parts of you that need that little bit of additional love, some extra love. Sending healing to each part of you that needs that healing. Maybe even to parts of you that you didn't even know that need it. You just feel that love pouring through that gem into your hands, into your body. Filling you with this most incredible, unconditional love. Filling the area with this beautiful light. Emerald green light. And feel that emerald now getting smaller and smaller as before until it fits in the palm of your hand. Mm. And now with that emerald green gemstone in your hand, repeat after me, I am love. I am loved. I give love. I receive love. Mm. Everything that you do is going to be from this place of love going through you into everything that you touch. And now take this beautiful emerald green gemstone and place it in your pocket. And we're going to take our next step up. And as you take that next step up, we're going to go to the throat chakra. And as you take that step, you're going to see a beautiful aquamarine blue gemstone. Wow, so beautiful. All of this is in you. <laughs> it's in you all along. How wonderful. And this gemstone is about expressing yourself freely with love and compassion. Using your voice to make that impact that you want to make in the world. <sighs> now place your hands on that aqua blue gemstone and feel... Feel that message flowing through you. What message is it that you have within you? If you could give just one message to the world, what would it be? And whatever comes to your mind first is perfect. And as you... Keep your hands on this aqua blue gemstone. You feel it, as before, getting smaller and smaller until it fits in the palm of your hand. And repeat after me. I express myself freely with love and compassion. I express myself freely with love and compassion. Let's bring that in one more time. I express myself freely with love and compassion. Beautiful, well done. Just two steps left to go. We're now going to make our way up to our third eye chakra. And as you take that next step up around your brow line or your forehead, still within yourself, you're gonna see a beautiful sapphire blue gemstone. It's like the color of the Atlantic Ocean. It's this deep, deep, deep blue. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. And as you step up to it and place your hands on it, you see this beautiful light from within this gem. Boom, just shines so brightly. And this blue stands for your creative imagination. We're going to activate this gem within you so that no matter what you face, 
whatever road you choose or whatever path you find yourself on, you will always find a way. Your purpose is going to be pulling you, not pushing you. You feel the pull of that purpose. And with this beautiful blue gemstone, you're going to use your creative imagination to see clearer than you've ever seen before. So I want you to call to mind now that vision that you saw for your life. And really ramp it up now, amplify it, bring that vision to mind, add more color, add more sound, add more vibration to it. Feel that vision becoming stronger and stronger, clearer and clearer. Gosh, you can feel it with every cell in your body. And that vision is waiting for you to just step into it. And with your creative imagination, you will see clearer than ever before. So feel that gemstone as before, getting smaller and smaller until it fits perfectly in the palm of your hand and it's glowing in the palm of your hand. And with it glowing in your hand, repeat after me. I use my imagination creatively. I see clearly. I am ready to step into my vision. Mm, take a nice deep breath. Breathe that vision into each and every one of your senses. And as you do that, now place your sapphire blue gemstone into your pocket. And we have just one more step to take. And so let's now take that step up into your crown chakra at the top of your head. And as you move towards your crown chakra, you see this beautiful purple gemstone. Oh, wow, it's just like amethyst, this beautiful amethyst color gemstone. Oh, the spiritual creativity is amazing. You can feel the energy pouring straight from that gemstone as you place your hands onto it that amazing spiritual creative energy is pouring from that stone into you and into each and every part of you and as you feel the light from this gemstone pouring into you you remember who you are in your most divine whole being this fullest place of yourself the very best place to be full of yourself and to own it is to remember who you are and own who you are be at peace with who you are because you are perfect as you are and whatever you create from this perfect place of purpose will be the most powerful, powerful thing that you will ever create from this space. Anything that you create from this place will be perfect. So breathe in that beautiful purple light and repeat after me. I remember who I am. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with others. Perfect. And as you remember that there is nothing outside of yourself that can cause you to go off track, the only thing that will cause you to go off track is when you forget who you are. So always, always remember who you are and come back home to yourself, to this place at any time. So as you touch that gemstone, feel it getting smaller and smaller. 
until it fits in the palm of your hand and place it in your pocket. And you're now back to that doorway that you walked through before to come in and visit these beautiful places that are within yourself that are always there. You can come back at any time knowing that these gemstones, they're within you. And a little piece of each of them is now in your pocket. And now as you step through that door, I want you to imagine that you've stepped into this beautiful space. And as you look around you, you realize actually you are in space. You just have this vastness all around you. And you're in the space between all of the atoms of the universe. And that this space is so vast as you look around you, all you can see is stars. And with all of these gemstones in your pocket, just feel yourself surrender to the space knowing that you are fully supported, that gravity, <laughs> gravity and time and space and energy and the vibration and the frequency that you are sending out, that you are radiating out from you, rippling out into the universe is what you're going to bring back home to yourself. But we're not coming home into our physical world just yet. We have one more job to do. Take a nice deep breath, breathing in this beautiful, supporting space that is pouring itself into you, around you, through you, this incredible energy. Isn't it just magical? Feel the magic. And in a moment, you're going to see a shield in the distance. And it's a beautiful golden shield. And as that shield gets closer and closer to you, drawing itself to you like a magnet. You start to see that there's a pattern on this shield. And you see that there are seven places on this shield that are the perfect size for these gemstones that you have put in your pocket. And these gemstones can only be placed by you. So take these gemstones out of your pocket and place each of your chakra gemstones onto the shield in the place that you know is best for each of those stones to go. So as you place your red stone, feel that confidence and energy pouring into the shield. And as you place your orange gemstone, you feel all of your problems melt away. There's nothing you cannot do. This is your creative energy as you place that gemstone on. It's creating the life that you want. And as you place your heart chakra gemstone, that green gemstone, the love that's flowing to you and through you and from you, pouring into that gemstone in your shield, taking your aqua blue gemstone, your throat chakra gemstone, the expression of love and compassion, feeding that into your shield, the energy amplifying and magnifying and rippling. You can feel that energy in this shield. Now taking your sapphire blue third eye chakra placing that onto your shield your imagination and creativity the clarity 
pouring into that shield and with that final beautiful purple gemstone remembering who you are being at peace with yourself pouring that into your shield all of that energy now in that shield that shield of courage of hope of promise of purpose that shield really owning all of the things that you want that to stand for take your vision and sew that vision into that seal that shield seal it into the shield and as you feel that shield now becoming at one with you still distant from you but feeling that massive connection between you and the shield that each and everything that you have sewn into that shield or the energy that you've poured into it is ramping up now and feel that energy rippling in that shield you can feel the power bringing the feminine and the masculine together the divine and the glorious every cell in your body vibrating at the highest level feeling the beat of your heart flowing through your body feel the vibration flowing through your body and everything that you have sewn into that shield represents who you are who you want to be and where you are going Mm, feel the beat of that purpose is flowing through every vein. And in a moment, you're going to feel that shield still in space. The shield's going to stay where it is, but you are going to rise higher and higher and higher. Feel yourself now floating higher and higher into space higher and higher, further and further, and you can still see the shield in the distance. And that strength, that love, that compassion, the creativity, the vision, the purpose, the passion, all of those things in that shield, you can still see it in the difference, distance, but you're rising higher and higher. And in a moment, you are going to drop through that shield, not quite yet, but you're going to drop through that shield. And as you drop through that shield. Every part of that shield is going to embed its parts into your energy and you'll carry that energy into your life, into your work, into your family, into everything that you choose to do. It will be a part of you. So see yourself getting ready. And on the count of three, we're then going to drop safely through the shield Get ready, feel the energy bursting through you now. Three, two, one, drop, smash through that shield. Feel every part of that shield in every part of your being. Carrying that courage, that love, that light, that hope, that purpose, throbbing through every single part of you. And as you feel all of that energy in your body, Feel yourself coming back into your body, into this human form, this life that you have created, the life that you are going to continue to create, but bringing through everything from that shield into every intentional act that you do. So in a moment, we're going to come back into the room Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a nice deep breath. Another nice deep breath. Coming into your body. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Come back into the room. And celebrate yourself. Because you are phenomenal. And there is nothing that you cannot do, nothing that you cannot create. And you get to do it just by being yourself. You don't have to be anyone else to do that which is in your heart. Just be yourself. 
Thank you. Hmm. Wow, Sami. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. Well, what I if... find that this is the best way to build a brand. <laughs> because when we when we this is why I do it every morning before we do anything else if we can create from this space and remember who we are remember what we're creating and we move towards it from this place we get to create the right thing and the perfect thing first time mm. <laughs> oh it was absolutely amazing and so beautiful and with the with the Healy frequencies as well I mean I for the whole time I just had like tingling here it was like there was like a, a ring like just going around wow. and around and around my third eye and I was like wow this is intense and powerful and really um just so grateful to be able to um have you on this call with us today and that all of the Heal Avalon um, members wherever you're tuning in from have had the chance to experience the opportunity to experience this with you uh, when we got to the crown and you said, like, remember who you are, I just got the information that I am light and I will, everything I touch will light, become light and just shine my light. And that was it, you know, remember who I am and, and it's about shining my light and it doesn't matter how I shine it, but just keep shining. And it really is, it can be as simple as that. That can be your purpose. It can just be to shine your light. And um, it doesn't have to be complicated. And, and that's just reminded me that don't get stuck on the details. Just keep shining. <laughs> that's 100% because we are all light. Yeah. If we can just remember that, <laughs> that we are light. And, are. Um, that, you know, the, and the thing is that when we shine brightly, it can expose darkness. But let the light be your sword. We don't have to cut anybody else down. We just shine. Mm -hmm. Just shine your brightness mm -hmm. in the world. And just and by light. being that light, everything will gravitate to you that is meant to. Absolutely. And everything that's not meant to will fall away. 100%. And I always say light always attracts darkness too. And um, it's about just flowing through that and staying with the light and staying in your heart energy. And, you know, it was one of these meditations that, that really supported me to, to truly embody what I am becoming right now. So Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm sure that everyone here has enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, just let's let us know, let um, let our members know now about a little bit about you. Like, how can you know if somebody wants to connect with you again in the future? How can they do that? Uh, maybe you can talk just briefly about Ripple Fest. I know we went over today, but I know that it's it's a great thing that you've created and how people can can come and follow you. Oh, thank you, Abby. Um. So the very best way to to be a part of what we're creating at One Drop Movement is to come across and join the community. So if you go and find One Drop Movement Global on Facebook, just type One Drop Movement Global into um, the search bar and become part of the community. At the end of every month, we run Ripple Fest, which Abby just talked about, which I, I think that when we go on this journey, we ne we I think I think we can massively underestimate how lonely it can be uh, going on a journey, especially if you feel different to most people around you. The great thing about having communities like this that Abby's created here is that you don't have to go on the journey alone. But I think many of us still do, and we find it very hard to ask for help. Um, you know, some people are brilliant at it, uh, and others not so great and we have to really work at it I have to really work at asking for help um you know be, I grew up fiercely independent just because of how I was brought up so I, I find it uh, um a work to ask for help and so I found that in many communities probably not this one but in many communities when people ask for help they're accused of selling or like oh you're self-promoting and you know dim your light dim your light you're being too bright and I think that's such a shame and so I created the one drop movement community to support over 22,000 change makers light workers healers mentors people that have a real calling in their heart to do something that's bigger than just themselves 
and to come and shine brightly in that community and let us know what is your idea how can we support you to get it out into the world if you've got a ripple that you're making don't try and make it alone you know if you I'm very fortunate like you know we travel full time we live on a big boat we we get to see when it rains I'm directly watching that rain on the water and if ever I'm just mesmerized by it and if ever you have stood long enough to watch rain touch the water and you see that as it touches it creates a ripple and then the next one drops and it creates a ripple and then the next one drops and it creates a ripple and what you'll see is that all of those ripples merge and that's how I see one drop movement is that each and every one of us are a drop but when we bring our ripples together we multiply not only the impact that we can have but we multiply the speed at which we can make that impact as well um and so yeah that's what one drop movement is about and so I bring one dropreneurs, people that are making a massive difference in the world, that are reaching lives in a very inspirational way. Uh, from a business point of view, I bring them on. I interview them at the end of every month. We run challenges. We do all kinds of stuff in the One Drop Movement community to support people that want to build a business and make a bigger ripple of impact. So uh, we have actually got quite a few people in there as well that are thinking of starting a business and they haven't even started it yet, but they like to be in the the vibration and the energy of it of, oh, so that's how they've done it. Okay. When I, when I do it for myself, that's how I could be doing it as well. So I like to speed up success for people if we can. So there's inspirational stories and lots of great stuff. Uh, and if you want to be like Abby, she's joined the Ripple Makers Mastermind. And that's where we meet uh, every morning. Um, uh, we have uh, morning sessions. We have uh, afternoon sessions as well to really brainstorm that business. And uh, if I can be of support in the way that I'm supporting Abby, to grow her brand and build her global movement that Abby's uh, going out there to build, whether you're building a, you know, a little business in your corner of the earth or you're building something that you want to be enormous. Then um, yeah, we, we support and advise on a daily basis to help you get there. So if you want to come and join, the best way to get started is through the one drop movement uh, community, start showing up and, um, and take part in the stuff that we're doing. And who knows, I, may well be able to get some of you up there onto that stage to share the ripple that you're making and please don't ever think well what me <laughs> because every single ripple that each of you are making is a valuable contribution to humanity and if if you're out there making a contribution in whatever way you're doing it then you're doing something that can inspire someone in the group to just say oh, if they're doing it I can do it too so um yeah Abby that's the best way really is to start thank you start thank there. you Sammy that was so beautiful it's a great ending just to explaining what you do and how you are supporting me and yeah I really recommend it for anyone and if you're not quite sure how to, to connect with Sammy you can also just um direct message me from the group and I can guide you and um, connect you with her as well directly so thank you everyone for joining thank you Sammy again I know you I, I mean it was and it's a miracle that you were even here because you're on the road in the fog and um, I appreciate that and um, yeah thanks everyone for joining I'll see you all on um, on the next session that I'll be running which will be next week I'm doing a full but how to do a full body aura cleanse so if you want to join that, take a look on the group because there'll be a, a graphic and a poster coming to share about what, what, that, what, what that's all about and how you can support yourself with healing. So thank you and we'll see you soon. Bye yeah. for now. See you.